Welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover one of the most powerful tools, if not the most powerful tool you can actually employ within your interactive videos. And that is to take advantage of the add iframe functionality. Now I'm going to give you a word of warning. This tool on the toolbar down here at the bottom that says add iframe. This is geared to the users which have at least a basic understanding of how HTML works and JavaScript and CSS. This is for the users out there that are familiar with coding their own websites, for instance, and want to implement their own custom functionality within video. Now, that's really powerful for those users out there that know how to work with this kind of language. For those of you, like myself, that are not familiar with this, the learning curve can be pretty steep. But I want to show you just a very basic way you can actually use this tool to get you started. And then for those users that are not familiar with it, they can either employ someone that's that's more familiar with this kind of language and, and really create custom interaction within their videos or just learn the basics. We have a whole separate knowledge series that's geared specifically towards developers um, and you can find a link for that somewhere on the screen here. But like I said for those of you that are not familiar with HTML or JavaScript I'm going to show you a quick way you can implement some custom functionality that doesn't come with Happy Hacker standard. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to select HTML and straight off the bat you can already see that we've got some custom HTML code in here. Anything that's in orange is a message to you the user as where to input your own code. So you'll notice we can copy and paste HTML code in here. We can also write our own JavaScript code here and access all sorts of variable functionality here. I'm just going to focus on HTML because that's one of the simplest things to get involved with. So selecting this area here and then simply hit in delete what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed some custom HTML code in here to bring this video a little bit more to life so I'm going to navigate to Google Maps and within the share option on Google Maps you can actually select embed map and then from here you'll see it's got our custom HTML that we can copy and paste in here so I'm going to do that now I'm just going to hit copy and then navigate back to our interactive video and then paste that HTML code in here and then hit submit and all things going well it should bring in that Google Maps which it does so that's me I don't really know much about HTML at all but it's quite easy to embed uh, different functionality that you can find on the web and actually bring your video to life Again, if you want to get super creative with what you actually embed within your interactive videos, um, it's worth looking at some of the different options that are available. I've created a quick video um, called 30 Practical Examples of Interactive Video that gives you a whistle-stop tour of some of the functionality that you can actually incorporate. Not all of it is using the iframe tool, but it's just there to give you an idea of, of what kind of functionality you can actually incorporate within your video. Just a quick disclaimer, for those of you that are using this tool regularly, um, to actually test the functionality that you create using the iframes, it might not necessarily work within the editing window. To truly test whether your functionality works, if you scroll up here to the top left where it says view landing page, any custom HTML that you've actually incorporated within your video, this is where you'll be able to truly test if that functionality works. So I'll simply jump to the section where we've embedded our maps, which was around here. And then our map pops up there. That's pretty much it. Remember with all pieces of functionality that if you need to, you can change the duration. Again, three seconds is probably not a long time for somebody to engage with something that's interactive. This is a very quick and basic example of how you can use iframes within your videos. As I said before, we've got this developer corner here that actually breaks down really great interactive functionality that you can incorporate within your video but it's not for the faint-hearted it's for those of you that are familiar with coding and want to get a bit more creative with your content if you've got any questions around how this works then be sure to drop me a comment in the comment box below hopefully this has been useful and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial